All right, good afternoon, teacher. So I'm going to kind of walk you through what the um, Securely Device Console can do for you. So what you're seeing right now is um, a Google Classroom. You're seeing it on a laptop, which has my daughter logged in as a student. And then you're seeing the teacher website um, for the Google Classroom as well. What I'm going to do is I am going to log into securely. I went to securely.com, login, and device console. And it logged in with my Google credentials. I'm going to um, start a class. So let me just walk you through real quick. So as a teacher, you can go through and you can look at your classes and you can see what classes you have. So you can go to your Google Classroom, to your classes, you can see the details of them, um, which students are in them, all of that. You can see um, the class sessions that you've had and you can see any that are active. You can create web links and you can create a custom block list. So if you want to block students from very specific sites during your class, you can do that as well. Um, and you can also create links that you can then um, use to be able to push out to your students. So then you can go to teacher's tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and start a class. And I'm going to say the class is going to go for the next hour. I'm going to enforce any custom block lists, um, enforce any organizational block lists. Right now, I don't have anything being blocked as an organization. Um, and then I have close all open tabs when class starts. So I can do that. And then allow students to raise hand. And then I'm going to click start. All right. So when it comes in, it came in and it um, connected to um, Clementine's machine. You'll notice that all of her tabs just closed down because it, um, because that's what we told it to do when it started up. And so right now I can go over to her computer. I can open a tab and I can go to classroom. and I can go into that class. All right, you'll notice over here, the screen in the teacher section is showing me that Clementine is logged in and she is on test big ideas in classroom.google.com. Let's say she decides that she wants to go watch videos while you're giving class instruction so she goes over to YouTube. Hello, friends. You know what? Sometimes you're just not having a good time. Like, it's going to tell you that she's on YouTube. And let's say you don't want her to be able to do that or be able to watch that video. You can click the trash and shut it off and it stops what they're doing so if the kids are getting onto sites or something while you're trying to give class instruction you can automatically just stop what they're doing um, at that time if you want to just get their full attention, let's say you're doing a class meeting and kids are in the background doing other stuff do a screen lock you can tell it yes apply the screen lock and it'll send the message, your screen has been locked by your teacher. And it'll show all the computers that show that they are locked and they'll stay locked until you click the release button and release the computers. Um, you can also do that for a uh, site lock. So maybe I don't want them leaving this class. 
I can lock them into a specific GUM website. So um, let's say I want to lock them on Scholastics or anything else, I can do that and then do site lock. All right, let's say I want them to do a lesson with me. And so I'm going to push a URL to them so I don't have to worry about them going out and finding it or clicking it. I say, OK, I want you all all to go to Scholastics. And I'm going to push that out. And it's going to open it up straight onto their Chromebooks. So you'll be able to, within the class, push them to in the direction that you need them to go when you need them to go. Um, in addition to that, you can make announcements. So I can give them and then they get the message from the teacher, you are doing great. Then click OK and go back. So from here I can push out other URLs as well. Let's watch this video on the Civil War. And it's going to show you exactly on the teacher thing, everything that's up and what they're working on. So I think this is going to be a really useful tool for you all for helping manage your classes. Um, and it's going to give you the kind of control that I think a lot of you all are wanting with doing distance learning so that you can see exactly what the students are doing when you, they're supposed to be in class. And so this tool is going to be available also in the fall when we get back. So if you're using Chromebooks in your classroom and you need to monitor and keep track of what students are doing, um, you can. So like if you're lecturing and you want them to use Chromebooks but you don't want them um, on the computer at the time, you can lock their screens while you're lecturing and then unlock them when you're ready for them to work. All right, so I'm going to take and release this class. And so then I'll no longer be controlling it. And stop the class. All right, I hope y'all found this helpful. And um, I hope y'all can start using the tool. Thanks. Bye.